It's definitely something that a lot of people will talk about from both sides of the argument. But the biggest argument that we heard today from parents that were on hand for this is that they were just notified about it randomly in an email that went out from the principal. And that's where a lot of this frustration comes from, because now as, as the school year is winding down, they're going to have to go out and buy new uniforms. This protest, dozens of parents and students showed up. Here's some sound from it from earlier this morning. And you hear them saying we want skirts and this happened just before school today that protest the demonstration uh, if you will many of them displaying signs calling out the school for basically requiring some students to buy more uniforms some even believe the policy is sexist as only female students are being honed in for dress code violations by administrators now Administrators say there has been thousands of hours of suspensions doled out over the issue in the past. Currently, there is no penalty, uh, so they wanted to just try to get rid of it in order to kind of deal with the issue. However, at least one student told us that it simply isn't true that no suspensions have been handed out. And the parents we spoke to said they were upset the school made no decision again, excuse me, made this decision with no warning. My biggest issue is the fact that instead of involving the community before making this decision, they just unilaterally imposed it without any involvement than the, with the people that it's affecting, the parents or the students. A change.org petition has gone up over this issue as well. It's gathered more than 2,500 signatures since it went up. A principal uh, for Cathedral Catholic has also put out an explanation and a statement of what, about what went into making this decision. You can read that on our website at cbsa.com.